Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel La Modelist. Today I am thrilled to show you how to create the classic empire waist or bodice. This style, also known as the empire silhouette, is all about a fitted bodice that ends just below the bust giving a high-waisted appearance. You might recognize this elegant style from the costumes in the popular series Bridgerton where it was frequently featured. Now I will guide you through the pattern making process so you can bring this stunning style to life. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything you need to know about the pattern making for the classic empire waist from understanding the pattern and sewing the garment and I will take you step by step through the process. So let's jump right in. To start off, trace your basic bodice block on a pattern paper. Let's work on the front bodice first. From the bust point or apex, mark out your bust radius. Next, close the shoulder dart only if you have a shoulder dart. And slash through the waist dart to distribute the shoulder dart. Slash until the bust point. Next, insert a paper and tape in place to cover the gap. Now, we have a bodice with only one dart at the waist. Next, from the bust point or apex, mark down 6 eighths of an inch or 3 centimeters. And redraw the dart. From the new dart at the underbust, mark out 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter each side. From these marks, square in diagonal lines blending at the waist. And square in diagonal lines also at the new bust point or apex. From the bust line, mark down the measurement of the bust radius for the empire line. And square in the lines for the empire line. And this is the midriff part of the pattern. Next, cut out the midriff. And join these two patterns making one pattern for the front midriff. and smoothen the waistline. Next, draw a slight curve line at the empire line like this one. Thank you. 
label the grain line and label the center front as on fold. For the upper part, tape a new paper at the under bust. And from the bus start at under bust, mark down to weights of an inch or 0.6 cm each side. Next, from center front at under bust, mark down 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm. And from these marks, draw in slight curve lines. Decide how much sewing allowance you're going to use. And cut off the patterns from the paper. For the back, extend the back dart line until the chest line. Next, from the bust line, mark down the bust radius, same with the front procedure. And square a line for the empire. By the way, check if both back and front midriffs are the same in measurement at the side seam. From the back dart at empire line, mark out the weights of an inch or 0.6 cm each side. From these marks, redraw the back dart until the chest line. And from these marks, square in diagonal lines blending at the waist. Next, cut out the back midriff and join both patterns making one pattern for the back midriff. And smoothen the waistline. And decide how much sewing allowance you prefer to use and cut out the patterns from your paper. Please don't forget to label the green line and the pattern specifications. Cut your back and front patterns on the green line and make it sure that the front patterns are cut on fold. Don't forget to mark the dart notches and points. Set aside the front and back tops and sew first the front and back midriffs at the side seam. Face front and back midriffs right side to right side and sew according to your sewing allowance. And press the side seams open for a clean finish. For the front top, mark the darts in preparation for sewing.
Once you have marked the darts, match the notches, pin in place and sew. And give the darts a press. Next, do the same procedure for the back top. And give the darts a press. Next, face both front and back tops right side to right side. And sew the shoulder seams according to your sewing allowance. And press the shoulder seams open for a clean finish. Next, sew the side seams together. And press the side seams open for a clean finish. And now we can attach the top to the midriff. Place the top and the midriff right side to right side and pin in place and make it sure that the side seams are parallel. And sew the top to the midriff according to your sewing allowance. And lastly, give the seam a press for a clean look. Et voilà, so this is my mock-up for the classic empire waist or bodice. This is the front part. These are the sides. And this is the back part. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to create the classic empire waist or bodice. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel La Modeliste, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!